to Port Prosper. Oh, we got a fungal fragment over here. Southwest of New Winchester. Oh, right, I can get a sample from them. I mean, I'm probably not going to turn that in for, like, forever, but when I do, it's a good amount of money. Hello, Marauder. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Two Salon Stewed Gossip. And of course, while we're here, we need to stop at the Rat Statue. Rat Brigade salutes the memorial. A true inspiration, says Cinders. I feel like whenever I read dialogue from the rats, I should, like, pitch my voice up by, like, a whole octave or something. God, that would sound terrible. <laughs> Got a homestead here. Ah, right, we can get more ants. Uh, can also trade a sky story for supplies. I mean, if you look at it in terms of how much money you get for doing each thing, or how much money each thing is worth, like supplies you can buy for 40, so that's worth 40. This is worth like 200 or 300 or something. And I don't need to reduce my terror. Yeah, Colony of Ants. Thanks. I hear shots in the distance. I'm hoping that's some dreadnoughts. I'd love to show them what's what and collect their burned nameplates. Where's that coming from? Sounds like up here, maybe? How do you think they're going to treat me in London? Given that I hate London and have proven that by killing their people again and again and helping the Tackities every single turn? Oh, hey, I actually haven't been up here. Hmm, nothing inside of it, it seems like. Except, probably Dreadnoughts. You can really hear them fighting from so far away. Every time I hear them, I think they're going to be right around the corner, so to speak. But then it always takes me like a full minute to get to them. Maybe they're not even up here. I, this looks like it might be a dead end. Ah, here we go, I found them. Gotta help some Tackities out. Gotta remember, keep my distance from the Dreadnoughts. Hey, buddy. Good teamwork. Uh, I think there's another one. Rummage the kitchen, read the engine's lockbox. What does the lockbox thing give you? Oh, we get a charred nameplate. Maybe we get that regardless. 150 sovereigns, an invitation to Perdurance. I'm sorry, you didn't just shoot at me, did you? Wow, terrible aim. Check the navigation suite, unlicensed chart. Nice. Other charred nameplate. What is there to do in Port Prosper other than buy some supplies? Don't remember if I have any other business here. Uh, well, let's get a port report. L Deliver Apollonian cinders. No! 
That'd be so hypocritical. Take a factory tour. Sure. Speak with the workers. Or... Lurk in the shadows. 100% chance of success. This will always increase your eastward reputation. Yes. Fuck the westward reputation, the rich people. Look in the shadows. Um, I think... Yeah, we've already seen this before. We've done this. Barrels being assigned to destinations based on bribes rather than need. All sorts of bad things. You are welcomed by the impoverished East Enders. Any deals? Oh, right. The souls. Ministry approved literature? Uh, hmm. I, normally I would want that, but... I think I'd rather build up a bunch of supplies. Transport to settlers. Right, I still have somebody on board. I don't even remember where they wanted to go. They're gonna be unhappy with my services. <laughs> Bleak industrialists estate. I forgot exactly what they wanted me to do, but I remember it was interesting. I don't think there's anything more to do with them right now, though. I think I just need to do the thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nothing more to do here for now. So let's just load up on supplies. Another supplies? Or more fuel? Well, let's go with a little bit more fuel. And let's go to Albion. I have no idea what it's going to be like going through one of these relays. We're going to see the travel from point to point, you know? Like, how the hell does that work? Unlocked when... Wait, why can't I do this? I'm pretty sure I meet all the requirements for this. Maybe I need to present myself to customs first before they'll let me go on. Surrender your contraband. I don't have any. Nothing to declare. The pinch-faced inspector almost looks disappointed at having to give you a clean bill of passage. Such a waste of time, they mutter, stamping the customs form. Go on. No reason to take up space here. Yes, now we can go. Good. I was worried for a second, like, could I actually, like, I came all this way and I can't go to Albion? But no, we're traveling first class. Since I have a ministry stamped permit. I have three, actually. Um, yeah, I think to finish my thought that I think I didn't finish before, I wonder if we're going to see some of the travel? Like, are we going to be flying through space? How the heck does it work? Is it going to be a fade to black sort of thing? Let's, I, I'm excited, let's go. At the sight of your papers, the superintendent jumps to activate the relay. It's our looms rumble, spinning the pocket of new time in which your locomotive will make its journey. Wrapped in your engine's new coat of hours, it will be hard to say how long the journey takes. But the hours used by Imperial officials are languid and seasoned. The passage should be at least tolerable. The machinery grinds and stirs. The steam vents. The sigils of the edifice burn with sullen fire. A force like a great hand seizes your engine. Oh my god. That is incredibly cool. <laughs> Wow! Seeing those sigils light up and spin and seeing those arms weave the hours. Oh my god. Reach transit relay. I am here. Where? Where is here? Oh my god, I love this. Look at how much there is to explore. I did all of the reach, but then look at this. A completely blank map. 
I love this game. My god, there's so much of this game. It's so freaking huge and I love it. I can't tell if there's like a relative scale difference between the different maps. You know, is one bigger than the other? I can't tell. I mean, just based on that size, Albion looks bigger, but like, I don't know if maybe there's different zoom levels. Like, what if I go to the Reach after zooming in on that one? The Reach stays zoomed out? Uh, no, it seems to reset us all to the same zoom level. In which case, uh... Boop. Yeah, in which case, this, where my mouse is right now, was the top of the circle in the Reach. Which is obviously quite a bit away from the top of the circle in the Albion, so I think Albion's actually significantly bigger. Anyway, this place looks amazing. It looks like hell. <laughs> like, seriously, it looks like hell. It looks like burning fire and industrial equipment. Uh, I'm eating supplies up here, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm not. Let's actually dock here and see, like, what do we need to go back? Can we go back if we wanted to? Uh, hello? A stone edifice, scintillant with sigils, is encased in a contrivance of steel and brass. This is a Sing Jenkins relay, allowing transport via a loophole in some cosmic mandate to a far-flung district of heaven. I think I've sort of read that description before, but anyway. This one leads to the Reach, a sunless wilderness, rich in opportunity and peril, coveted by London. Present yourself to customs, and then it takes another ministry stamp permit to go back. I only have two more left. Yeah, so you really don't want to just go back and forth all the time. Because, like, I don't think, I don't believe I've really spent any of my ministry stamped permits that I've gotten in the Reach. And in all my time there, like 40 hours or something, I've only gotten three. I could always go second class, though. God, what would that do? Oh, you could even directly pay for second class travel. For 200 sovereigns. That's not too bad. Unscrupulous hour vendors linger at the relay, charging extortionate prices for the hours needed to travel second class. Well, no one to talk to here. We don't need to, like, bribe anybody like we... Would have to do it at the Elotheria relay. Let's remain here. Let's, uh, go, I guess. See if there's a station nearby. Found nothing. It swears on its great grandsire's honor that it will do better next time. Oh, you did great, Gabby, don't worry. Well, okay, if I found nothing, then, I mean, it searches a pretty wide radius. That means there is no station right next to it, which is very different from how it is on the other side, where there is Port Prosper right next to it. I was thinking London might be right next to it. Mm, perhaps London's in the center, just like New Winchester is. I guess I should head to the center? Right? Let's go. Oh my... God, look at all these levels. Look at all these layers. What is that down there? Are those living quarters? Yeah, I think those are houses and things. Like, people live here. It's amazing. It looks like there's cinders blowing in the wind. This is so industrial. It's oppressively so. It's also fascinating and amazing looking. Am I heading towards the center? Yeah, pretty much. Finally hearing new music, too. Haven't gotten that for a while in the Reach because I've been everywhere. Pretty melancholy music. 
does seem like a melancholy place. I wonder if all these living spaces and factories and whatnot, I wonder if they're all just like below all of Albion. Once pristine habitation bequeathed to the skies. God, this is amazing looking. Look at that deep purple. Deep Purple? Isn't that the name of the band that made Smoke on the Water? Deep Purple? London sprawls across the heavens, its tea shops and factories, its gardens and orphanages, its ministries and gin houses. I guess I'm near London. Yeah. Look at all these like little floating houses slash factories. Like twisting, you gotta... The Patient Princess. It's an interesting name. But yeah, you gotta just like wind your way through these little alleyways with your ship. You near London, where her renewed majesty reigns from the throne of ours. There it is. Holy shit. Look at all that jumble of tracks. Listen to all the clanking noises of factories. This place feels so different from the Reach, doesn't it? Okay, uh, well, I wanna, ah, I kinda wanna do this, but no, 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 no. The game saves when you enter a port. This is the perfect time to end the episode. We've just arrived at London. <laughs> Let's just end it here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna, I guess, speak to the gloomy middleman, middleman and explore London for the first time.